He now has one of the most important roles in global diplomacy. Rob Malley, who's been serving as the head of the think tank, the International Crisis Group, is a veteran diplomat. He was one of the members of the Obama administration who brokered the Iran nuclear deal. His job, according to the new U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, will be to focus on the nuclear agreement first and then to deal with the other issues the U.S. has with Iran. If we can get back to diplomacy that can put Iran's nuclear program in a box, that will create a platform upon which to build a global effort, including partners and allies in the region and in Europe and elsewhere, to take on the other significant threats Iran poses, including on the ballistic missile issue. My fellow Americans. President Trump, who called it the worst deal in history, pulled the U.S. out of the nuclear deal in 2018. In an interview for Talk to Al Jazeera in 2019, Mr. Mali told me he believed that was a big mistake. Iran is now itself moving away from the deal, so its nuclear activities are worse than they were under the deal. So far from having a better deal, we're having a worse actual reality. And second, just listen to what the U.S. administration itself is saying, Iran is escalating its behavior, in the, its, 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 uh, its, its you know, anti-American behavior in the region. Since the U.S. pulled out, things have further unraveled. Iran has slowly reneged on the conditions of the agreement and that the Natanz plant is believed to now be enriching uranium to the level of 20 percent, much less than weapons grade 90 percent, but much greater than the 3.67 percent allowed under the deal. Not only does Mr. Mali have a very tough job, potentially he also has a very tight deadline to get things done. The U.S. elections may be over, but the presidential elections in Iran take place in June. There are hardliners in Iran who want to abandon all efforts at diplomacy with the U.S. And Mali will face many critics at home, on Capitol Hill, where most Republicans oppose the nuclear deal, and abroad, where some of the most powerful countries in the Middle East, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and Israel, are strongly against further negotiation. James Bayes, Al Jazeera, of the United Nations.